These mosquitoes, oh, man, here are freaking nuts. They bite you, and you get like the biggest welt here. Oh, uh, let's see here. Alaska. Alaska to bite through your freaking jeans. Dude. Yeah, that's because those are pterodactyls. Those aren't mosquitoes. <laughs> All right, so if you guys can see my screen, here is the sign that I am getting ready to cut tonight. Um, it is not complete yet. I'm ready to cut into pieces with my acrylic. I, there's a few things I need to do to edit it. And if you see this spot right here where my mouse is, it's where the scorpion ends. Uh, well, there's a, the side of a scorpion here. And... Uh, it doesn't have a line that connects the bottom portion to the top portion. Uh, I need to be able to do that s instead of just having half of the scorpion like cut out, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is, first off, I need to um, be able to break these pieces apart or, like by separating the nodes. So what I'm going to do is go over to my screen on Lightburn and select the, the tool that says Edit Nodes. I'm going to click that. And it's going to show you all the nodes that are in this particular graphic. So I'm going to zoom in to the nodes I'm going to se separate at. And I will click on the node I want to break at, break this point, hit Control and B. And you can see that it actually separates the node. Now I can, excuse me, I have to click on this again. All right. Now I can, I can completely separate that node from the one it was attached to. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. And I'm going to highlight it, control B for break. And now I have that point, I can separate it. I have pre-drawn a couple of lines. Uh, they're in a different layer right now. And as you can see, they popped up on my screen. Um, they're in blue. What I want to do is I want to change those to the same layer as the, uh, the rest of the scorpion. So I'm going to have to change them to double zero, which all I have to do is highlight them or click on them and go down and select the layer. Now they turn black. So I will be able to join these nodes together where at the break points that I have previously broken. So the outside line is right here. I'm gonna grab it and select the edit nodes button again. And I'm just gonna drag it up and connect it to the, the line that uh, at the breaking point that I wanna attach it to. And I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. So I'm going to grab the node point and boom. Now, as you can see, the entire scorpion outline is, is um, visible with all the nodes showing. Now, when I say I'm going to bend it like Beckham, what I have to do is I can take these lines that I previously established that are straight and I can just grab them in the middle and click and be able to bend them. Like just pull them over to the side and everybody see these see how it's the line is moving um, I'm gonna I have actually connected two nodes together in here so I'm gonna do it again so it gives me a sort of a complete scorpion outline on the outside um, so now when I cut the piece out it'll cut the entire piece the entire scorpion body out and I don't have to worry about the laser stopping and essentially wasting material because I don't have a complete line cut out. Uh, so for the inside, it's the same thing. So I have, uh, let's go back to edit nodes, right? I'm gonna click on this guy right here and I'm gonna bend this node around and you can obviously just change the angle in which it's been around with these little these little tools right here, the, the, blue, the blue dots. So the red oh, dots arms. are the nodes, the blue dot, these are blue, right? <laughs> that, that's a red dot. All right, which one you're currently blue? messing with. All right, so it when I don't have it selected, it's blue. When I select it, it turns yes. red. All right, and so I just go ahead and, and start messing with it, bending it around. I'm going to do the same for the bottom. So I'm going to pull the, the breaking point up, and I'm going to flip the node, uh, what do you call it, the node adjuster around. And now what I can do is take the previously established second line and attach it at the break point. See this right there, all right? And the same thing at the top, boom. Now it is a fully, fully uh, enclosed shape and just grab those lines and pull them out. So if you're having trouble, if you have an image that you converted and you need to be able to change the directions that the nodes are going or change the lines, how they're, how they're looking, all you have to do is break the nodes apart 
and reestablish your whatever lines you want to look at by drawing lines and using the nodes to uh, the, the break nodes uh, a function on Lightburn. Any questions, boys? I do have something to add just for the, the newer users of Lightburn. So real quick, Nick, can you zoom into your, your left tool panel uh, where you selected the node editing real quick? Uh, Are you I, able to do that, or does it not really uh, zoom in like that? For some reason, it stopped working. Okay, that's okay. Oh, there it goes. So, I can zoom into the, oh, I can zoom not into the actual the, node editing. It All right, so Nick, if you could for me real quick, take your mouse and just hover over the node editing real quick. If it wants to work. So real quick for new users out there, um, if you don't know this, so Nick was able to say, okay, break shape at point, right? And that, you know, that's, that could be common knowledge, but for some it might not be. Uh, if you go over the node and you hover your cursor over the node editing button itself, it'll actually populate a list of hotkeys. Um, and it'll actually break open like the different um, letters. Oh, which, right here? Yeah, so if you just like come off of it okay. and go back on and, and leave it and don't move it. Uh, right click real quick on, on it. Weird. Yeah, it's not. It's giving okay. me shape property. I can't see what's going on too. My monitors just shut off. So, uh, so okay. So, my, uh, see, when I look at mine, okay, I'll just base it off what I'm looking at now. So, when you hover over it, it'll actually give you a list of commands. Um, you have S for smooth, L for convert curve to line, C for convert node to corner, D for delete, I for insert node. So, there's sometimes you might need to add nodes. You could just hover over the line where you want to add it and push Control I. Um, and then, of course, you got the M, which is insert no node at midpoint. And then B, like Nick was saying, for break shape at point. You got T for trimming the line, E for extending, and then A for aligning. Um, those are all different um, options you can do in the node editing. So you aren't just um, limited to breaking them and whatnot. Um, sometimes you can take sharp corners, select a bunch of nodes, and click Control-S, and it'll just round them all out. It's funny when you do that because sometimes you don't know what you're going to get. Um <laughs> Yeah, But, yeah, that's just also just some tidbits there for that. And then one thing to note is obviously Nick was giving us um, a quick tutorial on this. I can say that when Nick has edited his stuff or his acrylic stuff in the past, uh, I can tell you he probably spends probably, I'd say probably about 30 minutes now because he's gotten pretty good at it uh, with even some of the more complex files. Um, but, yeah, that was just a quick iteration of what, what he does.